Hello everyone, Mike with Ambush here. Uh, today let's talk electrical. Uh, one of the biggest questions I get asked is what size battery and how much power and what size solar kit uh, do I need for an Ambush, Slayer, Slammer, Striker? Well, I'm coming to you from an Explorer today, uh, which is our first wheelhouse, six and a half by 14. And um, we do not have a generator. So let's talk about what we're doing to power this unit and how we're doing it. So for starters, this unit uh, has an electrical cabinet, which some of the, so does the shanty and the slammer. Um, but many of the smaller units just has a battery shelf and I accomplish the same thing with just that. But for it, this one's got some snacks in it right now, but this one has the Dakota Lithium dashboard and a Dakota Lithium 100 amp hour battery with the 300 watt inverter and a 100 watt solar panel. So the inverter is running this outlet. If you so choose, you can run these two external outlets off of a generator, um, but we wanted to keep it simple, no generator. Um, we're running the LP direct vent heater, so that requires no generator, just propane. It's a radiant heater, does a very fantastic job. We stayed warm and toasty last night, and it was minus 22 degrees. Uh, right now it's minus 8, and I'm borderline sweating. So the thing with the LP heaters, just a side note, you want to get everything warm. Get this thing on high, get your house warm and comfortable. Get your all the objects in here warm, uh, the walls you know, so they're not cold, warm, dry. And then from there, you can regulate it because um, it has a built-in thermostat. But get everything warm and keep your, L your uh, propane and your regulator out of the wind and dry. And that's going to set you up for success. So because of this, we do not have to have a generator. But, you know, we like to watch movies at night and uh, charge our devices, which we're doing right now. So with a 100 watt solar panel, right now, I actually just cycled through it, but it's charging at 5.1 amps right now, and it's about 11 o'clock. Uh, the battery is at like 79%, uh, I believe, 73%. And uh, it started at 100% last night. So you can base how you want to run your system off of what we're doing here. But started out fresh battery, got here last night, it was dark. So the solar kit was not doing anything. So the 100 amp hour battery, running the inverter, running this outlet, which we had this TV going for probably six hours last night. And this battery never got below 73%. Then running the power strip, I ran my CPAP machine all night and charged my phone. Now the thing to remember is that, and I learned this from experience, is these Mega Lives or any device, if you're gonna be out here for multiple days and don't wanna run a generator, don't wanna run out of battery, um, charge these during the day. So that's what we're doing right now, is we ran this cord, have both the Lives, plugged in charge your devices during the day because that solar panel is charging your battery so you don't want to deplete this at night uh because then as you're running things during the day the tv it's gonna have a lot harder time charging back up while you're depleting it while you already depleted it at night so let the solar panel do the work um during the day charge the battery which then can charge your devices charge your phone up run the tv but we will not need a generator at all this trip. Um, so all we're running is these 12 volt fans, the interior lights, and the TV and charging our devices. And, uh, and that's it. It's a very simple setup, but you need to manage it a little bit. I did bring extra batteries just in case. We did bring a generator just in case because we're a long way from home, but have not needed it. And so that's the advantage is it's, it just keeps everything quiet in here without having to have a forced air heat. A forced air heat is very nice. It blows air and it heats up your house very quick, but you need a generator. Um, then you have to bring gas and uh, rely on that, which 
is fine. Done that too, and it's a great setup. But today we chose to just run the direct fan heat, 100 amp hour battery, and uh, 100 watt solar panel. And it's basically just making sure that you charge your devices during the day while the solar panel is uh, doing all the work. So just want to talk a little bit about electrical. And from there, um, you know, if you want to add power to run more TVs or charge more devices, you know, you can run 200 amp hour batteries. Um, or if all you want to do is just power the lights, you could get by with just a little 12 amp hour battery. Um, so really pick what suits your needs, but this is how we're using it and hope you found this helpful. Have a great day.